Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an ASUS ROG Strix, the GL7 03G model. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing, power down your computer, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now to get inside at the battery, there's several screws we have to take out to get that bottom case off. You'll see them near the red arrows along the outside of the computer, uh, but you'll also see this rubber pull tab right here in, in the middle. Use a pry tool to get that rubber pull tab off, and there's a screw in there that you also need to get out to get this panel off. Once you get that panel off, you'll be able to see this screw here near the RAM. We're going to need to get that screw out. And then we're also going to need to take up our hard drive because this hard drive caddy these four screws that hold down your hard drive caddy, they're also holding that bottom case on. So we're gonna take out all four screws of the hard drive caddy and unplug the hard drive from this SATA port right there. After removing that, and after taking up this screw near the RAM, we'll be able to get our bottom case off. Take a small flat pry tool and start near the rear, near one of the two corners, and carefully but firmly pry that bottom case up from the rest of the computer. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any of the replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, the GL703G, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and that will be a list of all those tools and supplies and replacement or upgrade parts. Now, before touching anything in a computer, it's always best to remove or at least unplug your battery. Computers are safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through them. Now, your battery is right down here along the bottom of my screen. The battery screws down by this single screw right here near the left blue arrow and plugs into the motherboard right here. Now notice on your computer guys, there's a small metal tab right on top of your battery plug that's holding it down. So before unplugging your battery, you have to take a pry tool and slide that metal tab up a little bit. That will allow you to pop up this battery plug from that port. Your CMOS battery is right here to the left of my screen. It's stuck to the computer by double-sided tape, so if you're here to replace it, you can easily just pop that right up, and it plugs into the motherboard right here. Again, if you're here to replace it, I'll have a replacement option for you below in that list I told you about with all of the tools, supplies, and upgrade parts for this computer. But if you're here to just reset BIOS, you don't need to take that battery up. You can leave it physically down and just unplug it from the motherboard. Try not to pull on the wire. You don't want to damage it. Just use your fingernails or a pry tool to unplug it from that port, and you can leave it unplugged for 15, 20 seconds. That should be sufficient to reset your BIOS. Now keep in mind, this will only reset your BIOS system settings, and in most cases will not reset your BIOS password. For more BIOS password reset information, check below in the description. And as long as you're in the computer, check out right here above your battery, these are your RAM ports. RAM is a large factor in your computer's speed and its performance, and there's a lot of upgrade room here for additional RAM. If you want more information on that, check out the video that pops up when this one's done. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.